Hi, how are you guys doing? And welcome back to Trails of Cold Steel with me, your girl, No Fuses. Well, we're just gonna dive right on into it with these missions and see if we can get them done as fast as possible because we got done defeating, well, no, defeating Reen, Machias, and a big slug monster. So, where is it that we actually have to go? Before I like wander off into the distance. Osh district. Wait, am I in Blankclair? No, I'm not. Okay. Well, we're gonna do this oh no kitty freaking mission. I'm just like, what? That's the title of the mission. Oh no! I was like, oh no. <laughs> the the, the Kool-Aid guy, like, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god, let me stop. Like I told you guys before, I cannot like skip this animation at all for this tram. I wish I could. It will not let me. Where is this mission at? Okay, there it is. Found it. No, no. Where'd you go? Don't worry. I'm sure she'll be back soon enough. Oh, you're... Machias! I'm so glad you came. It's no trouble. You want us to fight a kitten for you, right? That's right. She's been gone since yesterday, and we were both worried sick, and then we heard about all of you from City Hall. Hehe. <laughs> it was quite a surprise, to be honest. When we were sent our request to the Resistance Association, we never expected Carl would take matters into his own hands. Oh, so you didn't send to us directly? Dad's as sharp as ever. Yeah, he really knows how to handle things around here. Uh -huh. He is the governor for a reason. Back on topic, though. I've heard that you're all very busy as it is. Do you have the time to help us with this? If not, there's no need to worry about it. There's always time to find a pet. Oh, thank you so much. Um, does that mean you're gonna find No-No? You named your kitten No-No. My god. That's right, we'll bring her back before you know it. Could you tell us what she looks like? Of course, she's a kitten with pure white fur. She's wearing a red collar with a bell on it. Oh, oh, and she's a bit of a scaredy cat. Noted. So when did she disappear? Yesterday evening. She ran away after I left the window open. It's not my fault. Oh, no. Cha-cha? It's not your fault. We told you she was too small to be able to get up on the window, and that, that keeping over would be fine. It's so high up, we never expected her to be able to get out that way. That seems like a natural assumption. You can't undermiss cats even if they're young. Hmm, that applies to her, too. He <laughs> agreed. Is there anything else you know that could help us? Unfortunately not. But just as Chasha said, no no scared very easily. It's only been one night since she left, so it's very likely that she's still in the Alts district. I see. So we're probably better off keeping our search pretty local. Yeah, I think we can fi safely assume that we should begin our search outdoors. Someone certainly would have gotten in contact with the association if they managed to get into their house. Then it does send to reason that she'd be somewhere outside. Great. We'll start searching right away. Thank you so much. Please find no no for me. <laughs> oh no no no. <laughs> so the no no part was the was the cat's name, and I'm thinking like, what is with this title? So we're looking for a white cat. That is not it. Oh, it's so cute. A mom and her kitten. It's always nice to see a family getting to get getting along. Neither the mesh description we've been given though. Yeah. Then we should keep searching. Wait, can I go in through here? It's locked it's still locked, huh? Hmm. That's not it either.
What a strange cat. It also re resembles a cow. Wonder if you can milk it. I, I doubt that somehow. This one doesn't match Nono's description though. Yeah, let's check elsewhere. Mm. Any cats around here? Oh wait, it says oh, there's one right there. Oh, there's a cat. Not the right color though. Then it's not Nona. Doesn't seem like there are any other cats around here either. Yeah, we should go check somewhere else. <laughs> the kitten's so confused. I believe we searched the entirety of Oz District now. Yeah, I think so. Hmm. What's up? Well, Oz home to most of Heimdall's stray cats, but I haven't seen their leader around anywhere. They have a leader? I guess we haven't really searched the alleyways or anything yet. True, those are the kinds of places you expect to find kittens too. Allow well, us to return to our search then. Hmm? What's wrong, Fee? Hmm? That's quite the impressive presence, I feel. It's massive for a cat. Maybe this is their leader? Uh. So it has an aura? That that's one big cat. That's him. That's the leader of all the cats in the Osh district. They call him Mr. Tittles. That's not a very imposing name. <laughs> they call him Mr. Tittles. Dang! That was a big ass jump you just did. He sure is quick, especially for his size. He's not the boss for nothing. Guess his hideout's on the other side of the gate. It must be. I wouldn't have thought to look here. Let's get this gate open and take a look. Is it alright for us to do that? Sure. The only thing behind her is an old abandoned house. No one will complain if we lock it up afterwards. Is that a chest? Can I open it? No, I can't open it. Hmm. Mr. Tim should be somewhere around here. There he is. Oh, there it is! Huh? That kitten matches Nona's description perfectly, but I never would have expected to find her here. Likewise, I'm glad we did though. Don't celebrate too early. Looks like Mr. Tills was keeping Nono safe. Uh-oh. Oh boy, looks like we've made him mad too. I'll take care of it. What's with this death music? This is the music I hear when I died. Don't worry, we're not here to hurt you. V, Are you okay? I'm fine, stay quiet. G got it. We're not your enemy. All we want to do is take the kid and to our home. <laughs> meow, meow, meow. Meow. <laughs> meow, 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 meow. <laughs> They're having a whole conversation right now. Good boy. <laughs> I'm not really sure what just happened there, but I guess we're in the clear. I have no words. They seem to have connected somehow. <laughs> I don't think any of us could have predicted this would happen. Thank you so much for finding Nona. I can hardly believe the legendary Mr. Tittles took her under his care, though. That thought warms this old heart. Agreed, I'm impressed that Fee was able to connect with him, too. It's not a big deal. Thanks for patching up my finger for me, Cha Cha. You're welcome. This request allowed us to see a side of Fee we'd never seen before. It really did. Oh, yes, please take this. It's not much, but it's the least we can do to thank you all. Kitty strap. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Bye bye. See you all again. Once again, thank you so much for your help. Well, that's done. It was funny and cute. Now on to the next mission.
Well now, you, you kids must be from Thor's class 7. I'm Howard, the owner of this here bank, uh, boutique. I about to say banquet, oh my god. <laughs> you look shocked that, that I know who you are, but I am the one who designed those uniforms you're wearing. Is that so? Well, it's a pleasure to meet you then. Come to think of it, we just heard yesterday that our uniforms were made here. They're fantastic uniforms. It's an honor to be able to speak to a man who designed them. Aha, uh -huh. you're gonna make me blush if you keep all that up. It's really the other way around. You all suit your uniforms very well. You've even made your own little tweaks to match your personalities. Good stuff. Uh -huh. Thanks. I'm guessing you're here because of that request I sent in. That's right. Can you tell us more about it? No problem. So we got some new shoes in, but I'd like one of you to give them a little test run for me, just to see how they hold up in action. Oh, that sounds interesting. It's not our usual kind of request. Uh -huh. Glad to see the interest. So you got the time to wear some shoes? I mean, yeah, all we gotta do is wear shoes. That's the way. Just what kind of shoes do you need us to test? They're actually the Stringer Corporation newest design. The Stringer Corporation? Hmm, I think I heard the name before. I don't know my shoe brands very well. I guess ain't they popular here in Erebonia? I do happen to be familiar with them actually. I believe they celebrated their 50th anniversary last year. They're from Lehman State, right? Yes, yes, and I'm pretty impressed you two know so much. Same here. I read about them in a magazine at once, that's all. Huh? I just realized that you're wearing Strega shoes yourself, young lady. Strega stuff is even to move in durable enough. They're pretty decent. Uh huh. Good to hear some positive impressions. Anyway, I should probably explain what I actually want you to do, or. I will after we decide on who will be wearing them. The ones I've got here are for girls. So the girls who are maybe 160 to 170 rigged tall. I've only got one person here who fits that bill. You're up, Laura. I can't imagine anyone else in our group wearing them at least. Then it's sorted. Mind if I ask you to put them on? Of course. Seems like they're a perfect fit. You'll need this as well. So here you go. An oral pedometer? What might this be? It's an oral pedometer which you'll use to track how many steps you've taken. So it's a Fitbit is basically what you're saying. It works in tandem with transceiver in the shoes that count all your steps. Yeah, it sounds like overkill, but I like my data as accurate as possible. That definitely seems thorough. Is there a specific number of steps you'd like me to take before we return? Hmm, I think 2,000 steps should do it. We can rock around more if you want. The results should be the same either way. The more steps isn't better or, or worse. Either way, once you clear 2,000 steps, come on back and talk to me. Understood. Okay, Laura. Ready to do some walking? Always. Laura's shoes equipment slot has been changed to a pair of Lady Stregas. Know that the step count will not increase if you remove these. Okay. So let's do some exploring and some walking. I wonder if it'll like tell me or not. Okay, so now I'm at Heimdall Port, as I'm still working off trying to get all my steps for this freaking Fitbit. <laughs> I'm gonna keep calling it a Fitbit, that's basically what it is. But of course, we're gonna get that mission done before we get to the monster, because most likely the story is gonna progress, so... We need to do a lot of running around. Here we are, Heimdall Port. It's the main harbor that opens onto Honor River. Ah, so that south-flowing river is an ore. I can see a warehouse district in the distance as well.
Yeah, this is a major hub of the capital's freight distribution network. Not quite as important as the Transcontinental Railroad or the airships, but still vital. We also receive a monster extermination request from here. Let's see if we can track down whoever made that request. Okay. Oh, wait, I see like something weird right here. Oh, is it the stairs? Being near water always helps me relax. Oh yeah, your hometown is right on a lake, isn't it? Oh, it's right here, okay. Um, excuse me, would it be possible to speak with the person in charge here? Person in charge, huh? You're looking at him. Something I can help you with? Can't imagine what would draw a bunch of students to the port. We're here on a request from the Imperial Governor. We've been informed that there's a monster around here that needs to be dealt with. Oh, you guys are here about that. I just sent the request to City Hall yesterday. I didn't think they'd get anyone out here that quick. I'll bet this is my father's doing. <sighs> the sheer coincidence of, of it has his fingerprints all over it. <laughs> well, he is the Imperial Governor after all. He can pull strings. Ah, uh, are you Governor Brinson's son? You must be really proud to have such a hardworking dad like that. Uh, yes, I am. Anyway, would you be willing to explain the particulars of your request to us? Sure, no problem. There's a doorway over there. We know the monster is looking somewhere in there. It leads to an old underground passage. And lately, we've been hearing the howls of some beast down there. Old underground passage, you say? You think it's... Might be the same tunnels we went into the hotel yesterday. It does seem like the network of passageways runs under most of the city. Regardless, it seems the howling monster is to be our target this time. Might I ask how we gain access to the underground passage? He's looking at us like, mmm. He's like, why are you looking at me like that? Is there some problem? This has been bugging me. I think it's something in the way you talk, but you're not a noble, are you? I am, but how does that impact our ability to do what you've requested? Bah, maybe it doesn't, but still. You damn nobles living in the high life, looking down on us common folk. I can't really bring myself to ask for help from people who think they're born better than us. But, but. Looks like the reformers have a pretty strong foothold in this part of the city. Yeah, but is that any real surprise? Actually, if that bothers you, I should mention I'm a noble too. Granted, I'm from a pretty distant part of the empire, but still. You're kidding me, right? Our class is actually made up of both commoners and nobles. I'm a commoner myself, but Reen and Laura have always gone out of their way to help me. Laura's skill with a sword and her commitment to duty is second to none. She never dreamed of looking down on people or giving less than her all. Ugh. Elliot. Fee. My friends are telling the truth. My father was the one who assigned us this task, so if you feel you can you can trust his judgment. Sorry, you're right. You came out you came out of your way to give us a hand, but it's hard to shake old beliefs. Here, I'll leave this with you. Head farther along the port and go through the door you find. That'll take you into the underground passage. The layout's pretty complicated, and there's water flowing down there, too, so watch your step. You have my thanks. It's nothing. I'm sorry for treating you so rudely. I should be a better man than that. Always thought nobles and commoners were oil and water, but I guess there are some good nobles out there after all. I agree. Yeah, you better agree after all you put us through when we first met. Alright, we've got ourselves a monster experiment. Let's head down to the tunnels. Right when you are. Before we go, I want you all to know that I really appreciate what you said. Especially you, Fee. I didn't expect that I ever hear you stick up for me. It made me truly happy. No need to thank me. There's no charge for telling the truth. Uh-huh, well, if you insist. Those of these two really have patched things up. Haha, uh -huh. well, I'll take that any day compared to what we had before. Alright, let's start by finding the door that leads to the underground. Yeah. But I have to keep running around until I get 2,000 steps, so... Let's keep running around. Let's get these steps. Let's go. All right, so I've finally taken the 2,000 steps, and I'm heading back to La, Sa La Sage. That took quite a bit of time, too. How much running around I had to do for that one? Hiya. Done with the endurance test, I see? Mind if I get those back? By all means. 
Impressive, you walk pretty far, but they're still in near perfect shape. Think I'll be able to recommend these to our customers with no reservations at all. I still want to take another good look at them later. I'm com I'm confident enough to order another batch right now. Glad I could be of assistance. The Strega Corporation must be quite the company if they've been able to run for 50 years though. They've got some history already. Still not too well known in Erbona though. Partially because we've historically been one of the most protectionist countries on the continent. That's been changing bit bit by bit over the past 10 years thanks for Chancellor Osman's reforms though. There was a new clause added to the Customs Act at the end of last year that further relaxed import restrictions too. That's what made me decide to start stocking Strega stuff actually. I'm sure the Noahs are feeling frustrated over that, considering that the restrictions only benefited them. Yes, good thing for the common people though. Chester Osborne knows what he's doing. Frightening well. Huh, pretty much yeah. Oh yeah, I should give you a reward before I forget. First of all, let me give you a brand spanking new pair of those shoes you just tested out for me. I needed someone specific for the test run, but there is no need to worry about that with these. They're transistor free. They'll fit anyone as long as you tie them properly. But it still says ladies. My thanks. Cheers. Guess that's that. Thanks again for the t test help. Well, that's done. So we can head off to the freaking monster tunnel mission. Oh, it's right here. Okay, cool. Looks like it opened. If our last trip into these towns is anything to go by, it's not going to be easy going. Indeed, we should make sure that we're thoroughly prepared. Right. And in we go. Ooh. Is it just a straight shot? Oh, never mind. Oh, there's fish down here too. Seems like this was built in the Middle Ages too, just like the patches we were in yesterday. You think they're connected? Even if they were, they're so far apart that I doubt we could find our way to the tunnel from yesterday. I can hear running water too. It looks like the port chief was right. This area seems like it's connected to some kind of waterway. Maybe it's even connected directly to the Arno River. Judging by the way the sound echoes, this patch is wider than yesterday's. Just as gloomy though, it's gonna be rough. Yeah, no one was expecting it to be as smooth going. But at least now you and Laura can link with each other. That should make battles that much easier for all of us. Yeah, if you were looking for a chance to make up for all the worry you caused us, well, here you go. Leave it to us. Haha, <laughs> I'm looking forward to repaying our debts to you all. Hey, what's wrong? Oh, okay. Look. Looks like those two didn't waste much time putting the past behind them. I'm gonna have to be careful they don't leave me in the dust. Ellie can now use S-Craft 7th Resemfrit? I don't know how to say that word. I'm sorry that I butchered it. He can finally use his S-Craft because he couldn't use it last time. I was like, you're, I think he's the, no. No, Machias can't use the S-Craft either. Machias is the only one left. Who doesn't have S craft? I think. I think. All right, let's just drive on through. Let's just go straight. This place seems like it goes on forever. Yep. My father sure gave us a real humdinger of a job to deal with. Well, I'm sure we must be getting close now. The other way. That one looks annoying. Watch out.
Dang it. Uh, let's get this over with. Neutralized. Guess we're safe. <laughs> I've only just begun. <gasps> Is that a treasure chest? Challenging foe. We should engage it with care. God dang it. All right, I think I found the monster, but we're not going to fight it in this video. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I have run out of time. We are going to fight this big ass mutated crocodile piranha, whatever the hell it is, in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, see you later.